pure can be very, very, very difficult to achieve. And there has to be tension to, to get creativity. An inanimate object comes to life and, and it lives and it breathes. Customer is waiting for their specific work of art that we're going to deliver to them. Technicians will have a lot of time to spend in this car to make things right. We've actually designed the engine to give us the maximum amount of intake sound quality, exhaust sound quality and just general involvement from the engine. All of these things all join together to give us a fantastic oral quality. We can take the engine here up to extremes of its power envelope, its torque envelope, while it's sitting effectively still on the dyno. Now what you'll feel in the car when it comes alive, when, it, when it, it's got fire in its belly, when the, the fuel's pumping through to the engine and the engine's burning and it's producing that, that power, it is going to be like no other driving experience. you're attached to the engine with being so close to it and all of the emotion and the sound and the noise and the vibration that normally is transmitted through the car that we isolate out as much as we can then that will be allowed through in this car so it'll give you that emotional attachment to the things that are going on underneath the chassis. When you press the loud pedal it is going to get loud I'm not going to make any excuses for that. Because this is such an exclusive car, we're not going to tool castings, we're actually going to machine it from solid aluminium. But you can see how the part has been machined, where the cutter has moved through this billet of aluminium and carved out this part. We've got a dry sump system that is designed specifically for this car and it allows us to make the sump very, very shallow. And it allows us to drop the engine down versus a production engine by approximately 100 millimetres. And every millimetre that you can take down means that it gives you the ultimate cornering performance of probably three times the equivalent of that. If you draw a line through the middle of the car, so you can imagine cutting it in half, a bit like a Damien Hirst sculpture, um, the engine would be sitting half inside the cockpit of the car. The way that the engine fits into the chassis is quite incredible. Imagine it, it is like an exposed skeleton. Now, you're sitting in the car and the heart of the car is also, you know, it's within touching distance of you if there wasn't a bulkhead sitting there. You could almost reach the back end of the engine. This front mid layout is really, really working well. We're taking sheets of aluminium the guys are wheeling the panels, hand forming them. And create these beautiful forms and shapes and replicate the image that we created in the scale model. You know, all of that you can imagine is, is going to take five or six people to be able to make each part of that car. Welding them together, linishing them and creating this, this art, this form, this sculpture that is the skin of the car. driver needs to be part of the whole system. This car is, is a thoroughbred. You're going to have to get used to how it reacts to you, but once you put your effort into the car, then it's going to reward you. This is obviously something very, very special. You know, we're, we're using new high-tech materials here. We're using new technologies that we haven't used before. It's the most special car that I think any of us will ever work on. I want that if you think on this car, you got a smile, it makes you feel good, and if you see it, it makes you feel good, uh, and if you touch it, uh, it makes you feel good. It's an honest product, it's authentic, and it does not promise what it can't deliver. <laughs>